There are a lot of people trying to learn data science, they set a goal, feel really motivated and tell all of their friends, but most people never make it past the first month. And I find this really fascinating. They're so set on starting a career in data science yet completely fail. And it's not because they're not smart enough, it's actually quite the opposite. They just got into a bad situation where learning data science becomes really difficult. And today I'll show you the six critical mistakes to avoid if you want to learn data science and get a job fast. These things have been proven and I've analyzed how successful data scientists got to where they are and also, perhaps more importantly, the pitfalls that make people struggle and never reach data science jobs. So first, there's the huge mistakes that so many people make, including myself. And actually, I make all of these mistakes. I'm not perfect by any means. And that's why I wanted to make this video so I could learn from it as well. Data science is about using data to extract insights, simply put. And this is not easy. It's not always clear how to do something or even what to do in the first place. And there are often multiple ways to accomplish the same objective. One problem here when learning is not allowing yourself to problem solve and play around. And everything does not have to be perfect. And you don't need to know everything before you start solving a problem. Because in the real world, the circumstances are never perfect either. Data is missing, requirements may be vague, or the deadline is too short. And even then, you don't know exactly where to start, which is completely fine. But when it comes to learning, we want it to be super smooth. We just want to take a quick course and for everything to work. And here's when I say embrace errors and learning opportunities. Now, it sounds boring, but if you're not getting stuck frequently when building projects, taking courses, then you're not really challenging yourself enough. Or you were just born a data science expert and you don't need to watch this video. The next mistake people make is way worse, because when learning data science, there are a ton of things that you can learn. Even the term data science is very broad, and in the beginning, it's completely fine to explore and kind of see what things you like to do. But then you have to focus, and ideally on the things required for the job that you're looking for. Now, we don't have time to learn 10 different programming languages, tools, techniques, and prepare for 10 jobs. We're all just human. So focusing on one area and ignoring the rest can accelerate your learning significantly. You'll be able to go further and actually learn enough to where it starts to become fun, useful, and you feel like you're progressing. Now, am I telling you to put your head down in the sand and just ignore everything? Yes, but in a smart way. So first, look around, observe your environment, learn the basics, and then specialize. If you're really good at getting things done and you know the basics, and even if you don't know all the new frameworks, languages, tools, and stuff like that, you can still get hired. Now, reason number three why people fail, and this one is critical. I'm gonna show you how to fix this one, of course, as well. And the best way to learn something is by practicing and applying it yourself. Now, you've heard this one a hundred times already, right? It's fantastic to watch videos and read stuff. It's very enjoyable, but it should only be a part of your learning. And the key thing here is to implement regular practice. For example, if you're doing a project or something, work on it every single day or at least a few times a week. You don't have to spend hours every day, but it's important to build a routine of learning data science. And after a while, it's not even going to feel that difficult because you're already kind of used to the routine. Think about waking up early in the morning. The first time you do it, it's going to be hard. Okay, it's probably hard every single day, but it just get easier a little bit at least. A good way to get started here is by journaling or at least noting down what you've done every single day. This is going to help you track your progress and also stay motivated because we often forget how far we've come because we don't really see the journey. We just see everything as it happens day by day. When we start learning, we're usually really, really motivated and we're all dialed in. We establish a pretty good routine, but eventually everything just starts to fall apart slowly. And you might miss one session a week, two sessions the next week, and then suddenly three sessions and you're not even learning at all. We've all been there. And one issue that we often set, and I've made this mistake so many times, is that we set unrealistic expectations. And if you're working a full-time job, you're most likely not going to have the energy to study like six hours a day. You have other responsibilities and things going on. And if you set unrealistic expectations at the start, you'll just be discouraged and you'll drop it completely. Try to make your schedule work for you. And the awesome thing is that if you actually do this right, you don't need as much time as you might think. When I'm at my desk, I often find myself doing completely useless things and I have to remind myself that just because I'm at the computer does not mean that it's helpful for me in any way. Actually, quite the opposite. And one good way to do so is by establishing a tracking system and setting specific learning objectives. So track the time you spend on tasks and be completely immersed in the task, not doing anything else. Multitasking is not good for anybody, it's not good for productivity, and it's been proven to be so. It also comes down to habits. If you're stressed, you don't sleep enough like me, or you have too much going on, it will be harder to learn. I know that it's not possible to remove all of your responsibilities, and you know life comes in the way sometimes, but the key here is to eliminate waste where possible, one step at a time. Now, reason number five is to accept that you won't know everything, and you'll always kind of feel like you're faking it to some extent. 
because no matter how much you learn, the thing is that if you're like 100% confident about what you're doing in data science, you're doing too little and too easy things. Believe in your ability to learn more, overcome frustration, accept challenges and setbacks as a part of learning. And this really integrates into all of the other things that I mentioned, but it's super important. Now, reason number six, if you're self-studying, this one is particularly dangerous for you and it could completely kill your data science journey. And it is doing things alone. Now, I'm an introvert, and even though I like talking to you guys, I love my personal space and my time alone. But I've also realized how important having a community can be. Now, you don't need to sign up for some kind of bootcamp or such. You can just join groups or online communities and find your way of becoming a part of something. This will help you build connections, which might get you a job in the future, get inspired, and also just learn from others, which will significantly accelerate your own learning because we don't have time to make all the mistakes ourselves, right? Good luck with your data science journey. I'm sure you'll do great. And also check out the next video somewhere on the screen. It covers some more data science stuff that I think you might be interested in. See you over there.